What's up you guys? So, we're getting our lips done today. Super exciting. I've been wanting to do this for like two years, but I didn't really want to do the typical like lip filler. So, um, one of my girls, Kayla, reached out to me and we're gonna do Needleless Lip Turn Filler? Needleless Filler? I don't even know what it's exactly called. I'll definitely put everything below so you guys know exactly, but it's gonna be an experience. I'm gonna take y'all with me. You guys, we're here. I'm so scared. But I'm super excited, so I can't wait. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> so I just got back from getting my lips done and here they are literally like only I would say like an hour after so they're obviously swollen and start, starting to like bruise a little bit right here but that's normal so but um, I'm super hungry and tired so I am just gonna leave it short for day one but I wanted you guys to see what they look like and I will update you guys tomorrow morning you then good morning you guys okay so it is day two well the morning of day two and here are my lips little update um i just woke up so i cleaned them and massaged them a little bit and then reapplied like um this a and d ointment that um she provided for me to keep my lips moisturized so let me give you like a little close-up they're still obviously swollen and bruised, but I slept um, sleeping, kind of sitting up, not like completely, but like a little bit slanted. And that's supposed to help with like the blood not rushing to your head when you lay down, all this and that. So I think it really helped. They feel good. It kind of only really hurts. Not even, I wouldn't even say it hurts, just kind of like a little sensitive um, on like the top left where it's bruised. But, okay, I won't talk so you guys can see it. So, yeah, that is morning of day, well, I guess technically day one. How does this freaking work? I don't know. It has to be day two, right? Day one is when I get them done. Okay, we'll figure it out and I will literally put what it is because my brain is not working this morning. <laughs> but, anyways, um... Here they are, <laughs> that's kind of all I had to say. And I will probably talk later about like what I am taking like vitamin wise, supplement wise, whatever you want to call it, um, to help with like the bruising, de swelling and everything about the post care treatment um, later on, probably on day three. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys tonight on how they are. I'm gonna be icing like off and on as much as I can today, but I am visiting my parents, so <laughs> that's gonna be a journey too because I don't think they're gonna be a big fan of this, but uh, it's too late. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll see y'all tonight. Hi guys, so it is the end of the day, day one, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> um, my lips are feeling so good today. Um, swelling went down a lot. Obviously, I am still pretty bruised. I'm pretty sure that's gonna probably take the whole five to seven days for it to go away. But I've been icing and kind of just drinking a shit ton of water. But other than that, yeah, we're doing great. It feel good. I had a salad for lunch today and I noticed when I was eating that, um, like chewing a lot made my lips a little bit sore but other than that i also had a smoothie and that was great so i think we'll just stick to like softer foods for the next couple of days um but yeah uh, i just thought i'd give you a little update on how um day one went and i'm super excited to see them when they're healed i will try to update you tomorrow and we'll see i think we'll do Actually, I'll update you on day three. I think that'll be better. Yeah. Okay. See you day three or whenever I get a chance to update you guys. Okay. <laughs> Go. Jump. 
Good morning, you guys. It is day three. Where I got these days all mixed up. Saturday. Sunday. It's day three. <laughs> and I want to do a quick update um, just for the morning because I actually am getting my face microneedled for my acne scars and this and that. So I probably won't update you guys until like the end of this like whole journey because yeah anyways um so here let me show you my lips real fast okay i hope that was a good angle i hope it focused i wasn't looking <laughs> but um so i still have bruising here it bruised the most on this side so um i think it's gonna take the longest on my top lips and my bottom lip is pretty much good bruising wise i know there's still some spots but like compared to the top lip is better um they don't hurt they give me a little problems like the first day like soreness wise when i was eating my salad i was like law chewing um but nothing that was like oh my god terrible um but yeah everything is great with them i feel like there's not much to say they're just good um i'm just waiting for the bruising to go down and then i think they should be good i love them i think they look amazing um yeah i will update you guys on like how i took care of them and like basically just everything on what i did uh, post care um later but i am running late hence why i didn't even do my hair <laughs> i gotta go get my face micro needles guys see you later hi you guys okay so it's officially been a week since i've got my lips done and this is oh my gosh this is my cat ollie so i am finally able to wear like products on my lips and so I didn't have to overline like look at do you guys like it I love it okay so it wasn't like a dramatic change to my lips but it did give me like a little pout um more on the side but it's perfect for what I wanted because I didn't want it to be like super <laughs> like super big I wanted a very natural look to my lips and I'm like super happy with it um some people do go for two um I'm out for their lips, but I just have one and so Yeah, I don't know. I'm super obsessed with it. I know some people might be like they kind of look the same, but I don't know to me It's like super cute. Anyways Um, so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like after a week. Um I will show you later with the product off, but I wanted to share with you guys Everything that I have literally all my cats are like crawling all over my counter right now. Um, it's Time for me to feed them, but I wanted to take the clip real fast before I forget what I want to say. Um, but yeah, let me show you like how I took care of my lips and what I used. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, I forgot something. Let me go grab it. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, so basically I had to prepare myself like a week before, take l -Y -Z, and I just got this from Target. It's like supposed to help with like restoring like protein i don't know look it up but uh, my girl kayla who did my lips recommended it so i definitely did that as well as you're supposed to exfoliate exfoliate wow can i speak exfoliate your lips um every night for the week before you're getting your lips done and then keep your lips hydrated and drink a lot of water and the two things that i used before i got my lips done was burt's bees i got the hydrating lip oil this one is amazing and the let's see overnight intensive lip treatment and literally this is how much i've used like you can barely even see that i touched it because this product like you just need like a little bit and it goes and same with this one too but i love these so much it did wonders for me and the girl who did my lips kayla also said this was perfect to use before and after when you're healing so yeah oh my gosh i just dropped something hold on no yeah but this. also okay so that was for before you take scrub your lips with like a sugar scrub and then make sure you keep your lips very hydrated drink lots of water and then i took your lysine and then afterwards she gave me like a little care package obviously since it's been a week i used most of it but in here it came with like 
I think it was like distilled or like sterile water, whatever, same thing, right? In here, she had little like, um, kind of like alcohol swabs, but that was in like water form and you would just like clean your lips every single time that you ate or like, you know, drank or you had to clean your lips in the morning and night because you got to keep them super clean. I ended up getting like a jug of distilled water and I put it on like a clean washcloth <laughs> and then I would just pat my lips and like clean them every single time I ate all of that. I also did a lot, a lot of icing on my lips to help with the swelling because your lips do swell and I did buy these like super cute, can you stop touching things? Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I bought these super cute like lip, okay let me show you all of them. I got these from Amazon and I was like so excited to use them because I was like oh my god they're so cute. Like look at these. They're lip like shaped like perfect. Okay super cute. Yes comes with four in this cute little pink bag but they didn't really stay cold that long. <laughs> they stayed cold for like five minutes and then I had to keep switching them out. So I was like, ah, that sucks. But yeah, what did I expect? They're super small. So I ended up just using these two like ice packs that I got from Target. Um, I actually just like had them though. I didn't buy them because of my lips. I just had them in my freezer, but they worked amazing. Um, they were like soft enough to like keep on your lips, but obviously um, put something over the ice pack because you don't want it to be direct like directly on your lips but this is like an eye mask <laughs> one and all i did was put like saran wrap and um like a cloth and i like strapped it over my head and just had it on my lips and it worked amazing i did 20 minutes on 20 minutes off for like the first four days um yeah that's pretty much it with <laughs> taking care of your lips you can't eat any like spicy foods or super oily messy foods because you want to keep your lips clean um, but yeah, now let's talk about like how like pain wise, I guess I felt nothing, no pain at all. Can you stop touching things? Oh my God. <laughs> um, yes. So during like the procedure, um, I didn't feel pain at all. There's like a, like a noise that the tool, I guess that she uses is like super scary. It, to me, it kind of sounded like a Nerf gun being like shot like right <laughs> near your ear or something. So it startled me like like every single time. But um, yeah, other than that, pain wise, like, I don't know, one out of 10. And then, oh, I forgot to also tell you. Um, afterwards, she gave me uh, the vitamins and D ointment. Um, I actually ended up not using all of it because this went a long way. But um, that also came in the little bag she gave me. And that stuff works so well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it, pain-wise. Like one out of a ten, honestly, I didn't feel anything. And if you just do exactly what like your girl or whoever does your lips says, I think you'll be great. Let me show you. Let me take off my <laughs> my like lipstick that I have on real fast, and I'll show you what they look like without it because I do still have some bruising. So I want you to see like how bad it is after a week. It's not usually how I take my my lip stuff off, but this is all I have right now. There's um uh water on here. <laughs> and just as this is clean. Um we're gonna take off like this today. Let's see. This is gonna look funny too because some of my foundation is gonna come off, so just don't mind that. Okay, this is what they look like. I would definitely do it again. She was super great at it. Um, I still, I had like the worst bruising on my top lip, which she said is pretty normal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, mainly right here, it doesn't hurt. Even the bruising was like not too bad at all. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below and I would very happily answer them for you guys. My camera battery is literally about to die. So I just keep looking at it. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Um, but yes, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I would totally do it again. I'm actually very happy with the one milliliters in my lips though. So I think I might keep it as that because it's super natural and just a little pout is all I wanted, honestly. So yes, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little journey um, on getting um, the lip fillers or needleless lip filler. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and if you're in the LA area, definitely go to my girl Kayla. She was amazing and she was super sweet and very educated in what she does and answered all my questions. So yeah, love you guys. Thanks for joining. I hope to see you in my next video. I still need to figure out how I'm gonna end these videos. So yeah, we're gonna end it there. <laughs> okay, bye.